Hey guys, D-Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. We're back in the Forbidden Woods. We got a small key. Let's do it. It's not the size of the key that counts. It's how you use it. So here we are. Initially, having a good time. Struggling mightily trying to figure out how to do even the most basic of tasks in this game, of course. What else is new? But that enemy that you just saw going after us is a pea hat, of course. They are the absolute preeminent turds of this dungeon. Apparently that gust hit this thing from way over here. I have no idea how that's possible. It wasn't even close to it. And now that I am getting closer to it, it's not showing that I touched it. Weird. Anyway. Got lots of dangly bits in this room. Oh, hello. What is your name? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hello, Nightmare Fuel. I don't like you at all. Oh, oh, he's shooting his, his minions on us. I didn't mean to kill it. Probably would have been, uh, maybe a goodie to, to grab from it. I've been trying to do that even though I don't necessarily feel like I need to. Like I mentioned before, I don't really have any sort of frame of reference for what these spoil sack items will be in the future. They could potentially turn into something more or less, I don't know. So I just, I'm just trying to collect a good amount of all of them while I can. And I think that this game is nice because I would say for the most part it's reasonable in the amount of offerings there are. It makes me think to like, uh, for those of you that have maybe played Skyward Sword, that game got out of control with the amount of collectibles there were. I don't feel like that's an exaggeration either. Oh, there's so many piads in here. Oh boy. It's a lot of feathers though. Also, why do they have feathers? Do they have feathers? Like, am I? All right, this is kind of terrifying. Give me your goodies. All right, I'm getting I'm getting swarmed here. I don't really need all of them, but it does stun them pretty well. I like that. These things are absolutely putting giving me the business right now. I'm just gonna have to start killing them, hoping for hearts. Jeez. Oh, don't, don't you play defense for your bro. You back off. Oh no. I don't want to get to the bing bongs. The worst part of any Zelda playthrough is when the runner has so little health and then the bing bongs come out. There we go. Did I take your feather too? I, I did. Or maybe they don't all have feathers? I don't know. I do feel bad though. I wanted to... Accomplished so much more in the last episode, but I didn't because I'm a ding dong. So hopefully today We're gonna wrap this baby up Okay door shutting that's not Alarming at all. Oh, it's pee. Oh Oh, what what? <laughs> what is this some crazy moth mothra? There we go did that do anything? I got a feather from it. Does the does the does the Deku Luke do anything? Can I hit it twice? I don't understand what is happening. <laughs> I I clearly do not know how to fight this boss. Okay. Oh, I got to parry it. Oh no, it's pooping out its babies. Don't poop out your babies, folks. It's not nice to them. Oh, I need that heart. Oh, there were two hearts. I missed it. Ooh. This is going very poorly. Give me that. Give me that. Yes. Okay, we're sort of in business. 
I don't know where these hearts are coming from. I feel like I have to kind of parry it and attack in response. Okay. Probably helps if I actually parry it. <laughs> these things are getting in my way though. More hearts. Thanks. Is this like the full size of, of these things too? Like I fought the little baby one earlier. Maybe this is like the final evolution. I felt like the, the Pidgeotto of weird moths. Yeah, this is not a very climactic fight. <laughs> oh, I knocked his wing off. He's all, he's all wonky now. He can't fly real good. Oh, no, maybe that was. Oh, ew, gross. Did you see it shoot its. shoot its baby that was bee hole? Gross. This is probably not meant to be a tough fight, but I made it look tough. For you viewers, that was more of a. of a what not to do. Think of it like a tutorial. That's how we'll frame that. Nice. Get some monies. Full heal. And maybe a dungeon item? <gasps> Viewers, what do you think it's gonna be? It's the boomerang! Heck yeah, the boomerang is great. And there's no young adult link boomerang fiasco in this game. It's just a permanent boomeranging. So for all you Australians out, uh, out there, we're doing it, all right, okay. So we're not done in this room apparently. Or wait, am I done in this room? Maybe that's... Does the game want me to hit these? Eh? Eh? We, we did it! Okay, so the other way was clearly the entrance, or the, the item, and this is the entrance, and we're heading back from whence we once came. I don't know if I can kill p -hats or Ooh, yeah, we can. Yeah, you, your days are numbered, P-Hats. Get out of my business. Yeah, the boomerang is pretty excellent. If you can use it effectively. That's right. No love lost for P-Hats. These camera controls are a little wonky. This is just money, maybe? Slash in the sack? Okay. Well, I think partially why they want you in here is to show you that you can do, you can do this. Double bop bop. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on here? All right, so this is basically just the game being like, hey, you can attack like five things at once. It'll go through and hack and slash all the stems, whatever these are supposed to be. Probably making something really mad in the process. I don't know if there's anything much ado about the rest of this. How do I get over there though? Was I supposed to not do this? Oh, hit the tree. Foul ball, try again. Okay, I have no... How do they expect you to get over there? What in the H is going on? I'm really nervous to jump down from here. I don't want to do it. Uh... You know, I'm not, because if you look at it, viewers, if you look at him, um, it, it, I mean, there's that chest over there, and I do, is there a grappling hook spot? No? Was I not supposed to do that?
Okay. Well, I mean, whatever. I feel like... Is this the big room that we were in before? I'm so lost. <laughs> not really. Like, I'm not... I don't feel super lost right now, but I do feel pretty dumb. That can't be the only way. Like, can you... Grappling hook deep? No. How do they expect you to get over there? Maybe there's another way, viewers. Maybe there's another way. If there's a will, there's a way. Now, how do I get to the room that has all the, the neat stuff in it? Oh, you know... Uh, I'm not super convinced that what that is, is is super necessary though. The game has a tendency to... Well, there was a door though. Maybe I gotta do it. I mean, I probably could make it over there. We do have the, we do have the Deku Leaf. We just have these weird vine things in the way. Oh, I thought something hit me. I feel like they just want you to maybe use your boomerang to get them out of the way. Maybe that's the, maybe them's the tickets. I'm gonna fly through the wickets here. My dragon. All right, what was this all about? If this was just a chest, I wouldn't have bothered. Oh, joy, bandit. Okay, okay. Oh wait, are we back in the? Ooh, we're back in the big room, viewers. And we've got. A boomerang that can attack five different things, and there are two, three, four, five. What's gonna happen if we just destroy this, you know, load bearing plant? Oh, oops. Oh my gosh, I couldn't have seen that coming. We buy! Okay, don't land in the goo. I'm not certain. But I think landing in the goo is a poor choice. As I land in the goo. Oh, maybe it doesn't hurt you. I thought it did. I thought the poo water was poisonous. Perhaps it is not. Okay, so I don't know what this does. Oh, it creates an updraft. Nice. Is that what that does? Or... Wait, I think I figured it out. You gotta be in the flying animation, of course. Duh. I'm running out of magic though, <laughs> gotta be careful here. Managing your magic is something that is crucial, at least early in the game when you don't have much. We're in the later phases of this dungeon with all the chocolate goo water. I think we're on the right track. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, these boys. Oh, it just stuns them? I was hoping for a... There we go. So, wait, was I fighting... Okay, maybe I was fighting like a, a later phase version of the of the moths. I'm getting all up in arms about it. Oh, in a chest. What could this be? It's a prize. Open it, ding dong. Great. I mean, I guess if you are low on the joy pendants, this is a good way to grab them. What door did they come in? Fellas, I'm gonna need you to bump off. Ooh, okay. Uh, I don't. Th I definitely don't have the big key yet. So this room is not where I want to be. So let's go back. I'm assuming this is just an optional joy pendant location, which is pointless. 
I'm not 100% certain that that was what I was supposed to do. Maybe we go back down here again. Is there nowhere else to go? Or did I go through this door? No, I didn't. I didn't. I skipped this entirely just to go get that nice uh, <laughs> joy pendant detour. If you need joy pendants, viewers, there you go. That's That was me just showing you where they are. Nice stockpile of joy pendants. And you're going to want to clear out these boys on the platforms if you don't. Then you're not going to be able to progress. And you don't have to get them all, apparently. Just like a good amount. It seems like it loads up more than what's actually on there. Just a little bit of plate forming. Ooh. Yeah, I like the boomerang. Um, the downside, though, is that it is not... Except for the little guys... It's not a an item that will. It's not gonna be doing much in the realm of uh, damage. What are these? Oh, these things are creepy. Get off me! Why are there so many tentacles? Stop. Okay, those things apparently don't die. That's annoying. Uh, can I jump to you? Okay. What are you, are you the key? No. I like the big key probably would have a more ceremonious container that it's in. Got an Octorok here, our favorite. Got him. All right, so this is obviously a bombable platform. I needed something to stand on, though. Okay. I think I got it, viewers. I'm doing things out of order. So, I mean, technically not, but you're going to want to make sure you grab that yellow rupee if you need it, I guess. And then this becomes your platform. This is your boy. Okay, here we go. We can grab our bomb skis quickly. Boop. Okay, sweet. You can probably be safe to throw the bomb from maybe like the middle or like the final third of the flower. You don't need to get all the way over there. Oh, that's a door. Wait, wait, wait. See, well, you can also, I'll show you this in a second. Okay, this room seems like there's more to this. Uh, you can... When you have these like flower, pla oh, did I get rid of the, of the platform for me? You be hole. That's not cool. Oh, and the Octorok is still alive. Great. So everything respawns. That's awesome. I love that for us. So when you do have the Deku leaf, okay, I'm gonna need you to heck off. Boop, got him. So using the Deku leaf, this essentially becomes a method of transportation. You can do this in Breath of the Wild. I'm assuming that's kind of when this was inspired. Hello. Oh, double kill viewers, that was sweet. And thankfully, because the Deku Leaf is only magicked. Okay. I don't think I was supposed to come this way. Okay, well, I'm coming this way. Uh, well, this is the big key, clearly. And I guess they want me to hit all of the... The, the ding-dongs at the same time. Two ding-dongs, three ding-dongs, four and five. Eh. Eh. I like that Link follows it all the way around. I did! 
Okay, now I don't know if this is timed. So I'm gonna hurry. I can see the game punishing you like that. Okay. Oh yeah, it's the big game. We did it. Oh no, we gotta fight two moblins and birds. I don't remember what the drop is for moblins, so this is actually kind of, nope, kind of nice. Oh, game quit. What is this? The skull necklace! We don't have this yet. Off-putting accessory. So once again, like I said, it's just another, oof. Oh, you hit your own boy. Just another example of, of a collectible that you're gonna wanna grab while you can. Okay, we got both. Now we can wreak havoc. Okay, I jumped out of the way, clearly game. Credit where credit is due. Her? They're hurting each other, that's awesome. Ooh, and I am taking a beating over here. Some hearts would be cool, no. Let's try to get to the high ground or just wall them. Or not, okay. I'm trying to be slick here and this is not working out for me. Jeez. All right, these guys are doing a heart of damage apiece. I don't need magic. There we go. That, whoop. Can you be a heart? I think the flowers do respawn in this room, maybe. Just need to be careful. These guys have so much HP though, that's the thing that is frustrating. HP, ton. But I think I just I just double killed. Oh I did. I was one hit away. Wouldn't that have been cool? Isn't it fun to kill your enemies? All right. Give me the orb. Take your lunch money. Okay. Uh, is that not how I'm supposed to leave this room? What? How else do you get out of here? Oh, up there. How do I get up there, though? Is there a... I'm not seeing any spot that I could use my... I mean, okay. <laughs> As I say it, I don't see any place. As I see a place. I don't know if I was supposed to do this in this order, or if I was supposed to go... Okay, this just loops you back around. That's fine. I think the game doesn't intend for you to go back to the other spot though. Maybe this will be hearts. There's one. Oh, as I completely miss. Cool. I do like the sound that shoes make. That's exactly what they sound like. You ever have a friend in your life when you attempt to recreate the sound of something who will patronize you and be like, uh, what did it sound like? What was that? And they'll exclusively do it basically when you're in a large group of people who may or may not know you that well. Don't you love that? Okay, so we've accomplished all of this. Uh, there was the door back here, okay. We're doing a little backtracking. And there's this secondary large room. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what I thought was going to happen. What was that? Whoa? Uh, Tim? Is that you? Right, so this is apparently P-Hat Central. I need all of you to die. Not doing a great job of making that happen, though. I could Z-target them, but that would also require... ...intelligently playing this game. Oh wait, can I kill those? I thought P-Hats were... I'm just, like, giving them a haircut. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> this is so annoying. Alright. 
I'm not skilled enough at this game to not do it this way. Oh, but I, it blows him too far away. Now that we're here so far away. I am literally risking my life jumping into water to murder these things. Can you get up there? No. Too tall for you, Link. Great. Yeah, this episode is going to be a bit of an extendo, I have a feeling. Just by how much time this is taking. All right. Can you die now? All right. So you give him a haircut. And these things... Okay. The Boko Bob is also dying one hit. We like that. Ooh, what's in there? Pretty gem, which I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go and get up to from the outside, cause that's fun. All right, and you are here, and now you're not. Okay. All right, so there we go. It gives us a Boko Baba platform. I see what's going on. I'm smelling what you're stepping in. We gotta get over here. I'm doing all of this exclusively through muscle memory. None of this is being done with uh, knowledge of what I'm doing. Okay, so that's not working. Today, let's go. Someone doesn't wanna get blown, let's go. Yeah, I feel like you do. You gotta get across here. Am I doing this wrong? I mean, do you need the bomb? Because I have the... Maybe you do. Okay, you do. Viewers, I learned something today. How do I crouch? It's been so long since I've crouched. No, how do I... Game. I honestly don't. <laughs> How do I do this? Put it away. There we go. I was waiting for the indicator. It wasn't giving it to me. Okay. So clearly. I, uh, <laughs> oh, this is going to be a very long episode. I'm not even at the boss yet. I'm glad I broke this into two. Like Dragon Roost. You could maybe do Dragon Roost in one, maybe, if you're good and you know what you're doing. But that would, that would imply a lot of things. One of those things being that you are a quality player at the game, and I'm not, so. Okay, it seems like the rest of the pathway is clear. The other Boko seed launcher is ready for launch. Okay, so clearly, you have to be here. That's the only way to do that, right? Uh, okay. I thought... I can't fly over there. This feels like I don't really need whatever this is. Like, this obviously is not a required item. But I feel like I am indebted to go find out what it is. How is that not? Oh wait, maybe I can just blow the... Okay. <laughs> oh, viewers, I'm not time wasting, I promise. I'm just trying to give you quality content. All right. Of course it's quality. It's a D Mike plays let's play, duh. Everything is quality. Yeah, this one's probably gonna hit the the 35, at least 35 minute mark. This might be a little bit longer. I don't like when my episodes go too long for many reasons, but I bet what I needed to do actually is because I have the Deku Leaf, I don't need to actually hit, oh, I actually don't need to do that. I can do this, I think. Yep. Who to thunk? Okay. Whoop. And then what I should be able to do is just 
Go in a boop. Bomb going down the hole. Okay, that wasn't it. I love that sound. Something happened. It was weird that it did the animation there. Okay. So all of that work was for a treasure chart. And the game still will not let you exit the normal way. You gotta crouch your way out of it. The disrespect. The disrespect. Okay. So I've accomplished this. Uh, oh, the ladder was over there. I think I can just go back the way I came, maybe. Because I don't need to be here. I would like to find some health, though. Because I... As you can tell, we're getting pretty close to boss time. I think if we backtrack, we should be okay. Where are these dudes? Boop, see you. Boop, see you. Okay. Because before, if you remember, I, I did these kind of out of order. I think maybe a little bit. Oh, they're going to come with me. Whee! Okay. So I don't quite remember what was the door. Let's check the map. It was through this way. I'm the map, I'm the map. All right. Oh, this guy's really hanging out. Oh, come help you fight the boss. Okay. So this is where we got that joy pendant. We prematurely tried to go into the boss room, which I think is here. Ta-da! All right. So I would imagine... Okay, I was not expecting that to be a, an enemy, but... Why wouldn't it be? I thought these might be like little fill-ups or something for your for your game before you fight the boss, but no. Just rudeness. Oh, nuts. Did I make that joke already? I don't know. A lot of you boys. And see ya. I like the sound made. Oh, there's a fairy in there. I do have two potions though, so I'm feeling pretty, pretty confident in my abilities. If you know what I'm saying? Now I'm curious though, if you remember last time. There was something in, when we were in, when we did the pot. Can you guys go away please? We hopped into the pot in Dragon Roost. And that led to something. So I wonder if, if there's any value to doing this. Or else why would it be here? You know? Let's try it real quick. See if we get anything good. At the very least, this will just warp us right here, so. All we've got essentially left is the uh is the final boss. Is there anything cool to do here? Maybe not in this room, maybe there's something ahead. Can we go any further? I think we can now. Before we weren't really able to. Maybe we can go a little bit further up now, I don't know. Just a hinge. Nope. Reset. Okay, we want to head to that one. Can I make it? Fake it till you make it. That's what stupid people say. Don't actually fake it till you make it. Do a good job. Oh, there's so many of these. Uh, well, there's obviously this. Can I make it to that one? I don't think so. Oh, there's one over there. I see it. 
You didn't really try to go to the top of this room. I guess there's value to doing that now. I sounded very apathetic. No, I guess there's... I guess you can do it now if you want. Okay. Whoa, what's up here? Oh, yeah, you can't get up here until you have the boonjamerang. What could this be? It's a prize! Woo! Ooh, another treasure chart. I mean, I guess that's cool. You don't really... I mean... I'm not trying to 100% this game, but, you know, I am trying to just show you as much as I can, at least. All right, let's get the heck out of this room. Oh, wait, there's something down here, too. I didn't know this. No, I just want that. Oh, I need a bomb for this. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Oh, viewers, there's a lot going on. I did not need to fall down this far. Okay. Whatever that is, I don't need it that much. If it's another treasure chart, I am not getting it. Can I make it to this one? I think so. I just needed to go up one more level and I goofed. We're just trying to head back to the... Um, To the original pot area from the entrance. Okay, great. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do, if I can't get this done as quickly as I humanly possibly can, I don't know what that does. Does that do anything? We gotta bring it around town here. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I thought it was gonna take longer. If I would have get, guessed wrong and messed that up again, I would have restarted. All right, here we go. So there's the yellow pot. I think we'd take this twice, like we did in. Oh, I thought I, I thought I slam dunked it. You gotta take this twice, and then that should put you. Oh no, just once. The... Okay, so we got full hearts. I don't think I need magic. And if I do, oh well. Alright, boss time. Let's do it. Yeah, this one might be hitting 45 minutos. So, here we go. What is that? <gasps> it's Makar! Dude, where's Makar? Hey, buddy. Get used to this guy. Oh, that's not good. Oh boy. This is a thing of nightmares. Gooey plants and like weird vines and stuff? No. I don't... I don't play with that. Alright, this looks like a job for the boomerang though. We gotta cut this boy down. Stop hitting me. It's like, <laughs> it's like Jess kind of poking me a little bit. It's like, hey, I'm gonna get you. Alright, so you guys kind of, kind of maneuver around a bit. Try to cut all the vines. Cut all the TikToks. Alright. Hopefully I'm getting these. I don't know if you have a set amount of time you can do it. But I imagine that moving quickly is probably the, the key. Did I get them all? I feel like I missed. I did miss one. It's kind of hard to see. Everything's a... Uh, okay, so that is time. Whoa, what are you doing? Stop it. Stop being a grumpy plant. Plants have feelings. Alright, so this is absolutely timed. So move quick. Bob and weave. Quit. Wow, that's really annoying. Oh, that didn't even count. Ugh. 
Well, if I said this video was going to be short, I lied. I heard that there is actually a cheese to this fight. I think it has something to do with, like, when you're in the, uh... I feel like I'm getting really close to getting all of them and I just don't get- I like miss one or two. Ugh. Or maybe I am doing it right and I'm just not paying attention to the cues. I don't know. I know that you gotta knock the- knock the vines down. And then you gotta attack the center of it or something. The tails of it being cut down aren't very good though. So I don't love that. It's very disorienting. Apologies for that. This is not a fun boss fight in the slightest. All right, that's a good vantage point. Oh, game, I am not having a good time. This is kind of like when I did the, uh, the Goma, the Magma Goma fight. I did not enjoy that either. Maybe some people think these boss fights are fun, but I am not vibing with this one. It just regenerates too fast. There we go. Okay, so I was getting close. It looks like a Boko Baba. Oh, I'm getting eaten. That's not good. Spit me out. All right, so now is a chance to use what I've been saving these for. Okay, great. Drink that red potion. Link's like, ugh. It's Hawaiian Punch, Link. All right, so back to it. Oof, jeez. Take it easy, buddy. I think the goal of this is you just gotta go quick. That's pretty much it. It's just really tough to tell if you're getting them or not. Come on. There we go. Oh, I thought that was it. It is not. Yeah, the indicator of this is not, it's not great. But I got it that time. Okay, I don't know how many times I have to hit this thing. We're get into some crunch timeage. All right, back to it. Viewers, I apologize for this fight being pretty much the lamest thing on earth. I guess I just need to stick to it. He just has so many. Also, that's that's the thing that annoys me is like, I feel like I, I am getting it and it's not, it's locking on, but it's not pulling down the vines. That's, that's an annoyance. Just make sure you get five, because you can do five at a time, so. Make sure you're locking on, do as many as you can. Make sure you're getting them all. Gotta catch them all. I don't even know what this thing's called, but all, all I can think of it is Turd Tentacle Monster. Ugh. That's the rough part. It really had, there's no margin for error in a lot of this. Did I miss one? Ugh. It seemed like it wasn't, it wasn't giving it to me earlier, but. Ugh, thank goodness. What even was that thing? Just miserable. Oh, viewers, I'm done. We we saved our boy Makar. You're welcome, buddy. This episode should not have been this long. We'll see if I make any cuts in the middle of it after the fact. Yeah, buddy, we saved you. You're welcome. We must get out of here immediately. But first, health. This is more important. How could you, Makar? All right, to the warp. 
Yeah, don't forget to get that heart container. You'll want it. Well, we saved him a car. We have cleared the forbidden woods of the evil inside. And it, apparently it teleports us straight back to the Deku Tree. That's sweet. Nice game. We're just holding Makar above our head like an item. Aw, oh, poor guy. He's sorry. Now you must be banished. Aw, oh, it looks like the, gate, the great Deku Tree has a lot of empathy. And our reward. You can't do a chore without a reward. Hooray! It's Ferrari's Burrow! We did it! Worth it? Do not cry, Makar. It's time for the celebration. There's no time for tears. Let's go. Anyway, here's a fun little cutscene for you to end this video. Even harder than you know. You better play hard first. We just saved your life, you turd. Literally. Enjoy, viewers. Encore, encore! See ya, bye! So now we can continue the next era of Korok children. We're going to spread their seed. Oh boy. That's kind of their job. They're distributors. We did it! Man, that was a lot. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for today. Thanks for hanging out for this pretty long episode, and I'll see you next time for more. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been Dean Mike. This has been The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD, and I'll catch you next time for more. Bye!